<laughs> um, Kai, he leaves in a week's time. Yep, Kai's, Kai's I got a bit of time with Kai, which is good. And uh, again, we just get monitoring his training from overseas and he's doing really well. He's doing uh, the plan, the training regimen that we asked him to follow and the, the techniques that we've asked him to uh, uh, learn and the strategy and tactics and stuff. He's like got a very good understanding of them. Still a little bit more time for him, so yeah, super happy with where he's at and uh, he's still got a little bit to sharpen up. Yeah. What about Brad? Brad's still just like the other boys. He's still we're still waiting to lock something in. So like just yeah, just a lot of business going on behind closed doors. So yeah, I haven't got anything to say in regards to Brad, but hopefully very soon. Okay, uh, Shane. Shane. Yeah, I think Shane is. Yeah, looking at fighting in the uh, yeah in the second quarter, so he, that's coming up soon. If, yeah, so he's training. I saw him yesterday. So. Yeah, he, he's, he's got a big task ahead of him because he, he obviously is coming off two losses, so he needs a big one, this one. You mentioned probably somebody else joining the UFC. Any, any word on that yet? <laughs> <laughs> Combat TV wants to be first, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. No, not yet. No, I cannot divulge anything yet. <laughs> but um, other than that, when I say something on camera, I tend to try and not be a liar. <laughs> so yeah, I'll leave it at that. Hey, uh, PFL, uh, BJ leaves to go over <coughs> there. Um, yep. Could you give us an update on him? Yeah, BJ B yep, yep, BJ's good to go. Like I came back and it looked like a different BJ, like in terms of where his skills are and his weight is right down. So he's 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 uh, firing on all cylinders. He fights on the Friday, which is the day before Dan. So me me and Tristram won't be there, but Andre is going to travel with him, and then Frank Hickman, our other um, coach, is going to meet the guys in uh, wherever they're fighting. I forgot where they're fighting now, Florida or somewhere. Um, so he's going to meet them there, and then they're going to look after him, and then uh, hopefully secure him in a win, and then uh, entry into the PFL season. So. Um, yeah, like I said, um, BJ is kind of the least of my worries in terms of when I go away and having to monitor whether they're training or not because he's just, yeah, obviously a phenomenal workhorse. So we're just waiting on it. We're actually waiting on his visa. Me and him, are, me and him are going down to the American embassy to break down the door and figure out where his visa is because we leave on Saturday. Today's Thursday. We still don't have the visa, so we're cutting it close. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Jenna, Jenna, <coughs> Fabian. Jenna uh, got accepted into the 2022 season of PFL, so she'll be competing again for the million dollars, which is a big relief. Um, <coughs> you know, obviously, um, um, she had a very disappointing final, so uh, but she did have some very good fights during the season that led up to that. So it was very, um, we were a little bit worried that that disappointing. Um, performance in the final might not be enough to get her another season but in, in, in the end um, if you look back at her overall performances over the whole season it was one of the best she was by far one of the best fighters in there even though she um, came up short in the final so and I think that warranted her getting um, getting into the 2022 season and, and I obviously think that she can do a much much better job than what she did um, against a high level competitor like um, Kayla Harrison so that's what she'll be aiming to do. She'll be aiming to get herself in a position where she can uh, kind of rectify um, some of the massive mistakes that she made. And um, Michelle Montague uh, fought in the PFL. <clears throat> yeah, well she fought in like the Challenger series, which is essentially the same thing BJ's doing, which is uh, like, a, I guess it's like a trial by fire. It's like uh, four fights and then they choose uh, some out of those uh, four, there's four fights, so eight competitors, and then the winners go through, and then they choose the winners. Um, <coughs> that's that's just exactly what BJ's doing, but for his weight class. Um, Michelle won against an experienced opponent, and won by choke, but they unfortunately, they chose uh, one of the other girls to go through to the season. Um, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Like, I'm not 
completely in agreement with the system that they're using to get the guys through because it's like fan voting and then there's celebrity voting and then uh-huh. there's a part of it that seems like it's a popularity contest and um you know if it's a popularity contest then bring the competition to new zealand and we'll win <laughs> yeah but but it's based in america um where perhaps um our fighters don't have the biggest kind of um footprint so if it's going to come down to a popularity contest then it's going to be a little bit difficult but there's a side of it that comes down to how good a fighter you are as well and i know that and obviously i knew michelle was a very 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 good fighter and i know bj is a very very world class a world class fighter as well so yeah, I mean, <coughs> I'm not worried about Michelle. Majer. Michelle was so young in the game. Um, that was her first professional fight, and and um, she has so much to learn. Like the thing about Michelle is she's um, such a good learner, such a good trainer, so dedicated, and she has like so much scope to grow. Um, she's gonna she's gonna go places regardless as long as she just stays on track. So. Yeah, whether she got into the season or not, um, there's probably a, like a blessing in that. It gives her more time to learn and just come become a little bit more seasoned before she makes a jump into a season like that. Yeah. Eugene, on your way back, you got time to spend time in Wollongong with uh, Bolt and Joe. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the stay and how is he on target? Yeah, no, like that was kind of one of the, the benefits of uh, not being able to get into New Zealand. We went to Australia for two weeks so it just made sense to go down to Joe's gym and uh, try and help out Joe and, and Volk and then uh, Tyson Pedro also came down He's, he got announced his fight in like eight weeks um, just a little bit after Volk so uh, he's a guy that comes here and trains but it hasn't been able to because uh, bloody, you know lockdowns and stuff um, and restrictions but man yeah Volk's looking real good um, I saw some, uh, yeah, we basically spent two weeks, me, Carlos, uh, uh, Bloods, Carl, Andre, Mike Engev, we all just basically, basically did whatever he did, turned up to all the trainings that he trained and just became a part of the team for a couple of weeks, it was good, um, just, just being a part of the team and, but in terms of like where Volk is for the fight, yeah, he's, yeah, uh, uh, Volk and the most, Volk is like the Australian version of BJ, like he just works, yeah. he's just yeah. a workhorse, so he just goes and goes and goes. Super fit, uh, super sharp, uh, super strong. Uh, I, I haven't seen a lot of Volk's training for the last couple of years because of COVID, but um, the quality of his training uh, looked good. Him and Joe are working, are working, are working wonders. And the sparring, he looked... Uh, and he looked the sharpest I've seen him in ever, and that's what you want. You want that constant progression. Yeah. And uh, he looks the sharpest I've ever seen him um, leading into this fight, and he's still got a heck of a long time to go. So, um, I, yeah, I expect, I expect, I expect Korean barbecue <laughs> that that night. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. And then uh, Tyson was at the start of his camp too. He's got another very good uh, opponent, and uh, he hasn't been in that. He's had multiple, multiple injuries. So I think, I think 2018 was his last fight, and then he kept busting up his knee. And uh, but he's looking good too. It was a good, to, good for him to get amongst the boys. He did a lot of training with Carlos because obviously they're in the long, same weight division, and uh, that was good for Tyson. And he's looking, um, yeah, he's looking sharp too. He's looking like he's going to make a, an impactful. Uh, re-emergence into the light heavyweight division. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it's a pretty adventurous trip then, and um, yeah, lots of good things come out of it, and a lot more to come by the sound of things as well. Yeah, it was. It was, uh, but uh, yeah, it was a very good trip. Like four weeks away is a little bit long to spend away for one fight. Um, she's obviously, you know, all the boys have got family and girlfriends and wives and everything back here, but it is what it is. You've got to make these sacrifices at this time, but thankfully I think that's over. I think all those travel restrictions and the quarantines and all the rest of it, not being able to get into New Zealand, I think that trip kind of signals the last one where we, we, we will ever have to do that. So um, it was still a great trip. I, you know, I spent time in Houston. Spent time in Vegas, caught up with Jenna and Kevin Jose, 
Then he went to Wollongong. Wollongong and caught up with Joe and, and Tyson and caught up with some of my other students. Ram, who's trained here and lived here for uh, a, year, a couple of years, I caught up with him. He came down from Melbourne. Um, and just caught up with the team, like Joe and the freestyle MMA team. So it was good. It rained every day in Wollongong, every single day. It did not stop raining, as you know. Like if you probably heard on the yeah, news, yeah, they just got yeah. yeah. So it was like yeah. But luckily, we had good company. It made up for the terrible weather. But then we come back to New Zealand, and it's perfect weather. And what they'll tell you in Wollongong is that that's like a once in a hundred year occurrence. But they're lying. <laughs> It's basically, some, to me, it seems like that's their, their weather that they mostly kind of deal with every day. But it's wonderful to come to a proper city like Auckland where it's never actually raining. <laughs> You're not sure uh, about that, are you? No, no, yeah, well, lately it's been right. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's cool, mate. And um, are you still going to try and get um, more than one fighter on the card? You know, like you're trying to get we two will, or three? We, or? we will try and do that, but there's less emphasis to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. Because now, now yeah. um, it's actually very hard to do that, to line all those guys up. It's a yeah. bit of a mission. Like, realistically, those guys are fighting once or twice a year on average. They should be fighting four to six times a year. Yeah. But now they can do that. Because yeah. now we can come and go when we want to. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All well, best on the trips that you're taking now. Do you go? Yeah. Come back from London, or do you go? No, no, I go, go to London. Thailand. We go to Singapore, London, and then we jump on a plane and we go straight to Kai. I think we go to Atlanta, then to Ohio, then we come back through San Francisco, LA, and then back down to Auckland. So then by that time, then a couple of weeks off, then I'll fly to. Volkanovski in Jacksonville, Florida, and then I think I have another week here, and then I fly to uh, uh, Tyson Pedro's fight, which is at the Apex, I think, maybe. I'm not sure where his fight is. I think Las Vegas. And then by then, I'm sure there'll be a whole host of fights on the calendar by then. <laughs> That's the benefit of not having to the, the travel restrictions. Now everybody can fight everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I have to travel more but I have to travel less, if you understand what I mean, because yeah. now I can just leave a few days before the fight and come back straight after the fight. Yeah. Yeah. So it ends up being the same anyway. And I would rather do that than spend four week, six week, eight week blocks away from yeah. 